making shots. Because he's 28 years old. Sam Cassell, trust me, after tonight's game, he's going to have a big game. He's going to be in the hot tub. He's going to be in the cold tub. But he's a big shot maker. He has championship experience. Great pickup by the Boston Celtics. Big time game by Sam Cassell. And again, this game could have been between the Hawks and Celtics a, a prelim of that first round series in the East. If the Hawks end up, end up eighth, rather, it will be their first playoff berth since 1999. And as I said, they would face the Celtics in round one. Little programming note for you on Sunday on ABC, a terrific NBA doubleheader. First, a possible first round playoff preview as the Raptors meet the Pistons, that one in Auburn Hills. And then, oh boy, Timmy D and the Spurs meet Kobe Bryant, the Lakers. Must see television. Coverage begins at 12.30 p.m. Eastern with GMC NBA Countdown. Clippers Warriors update again, Golden State. In a must-win situation, Golden State on the fast break. Oh, they've got some numbers. Monte Ellis, Warriors by 17 late over the Clips. Also, Hornets and the Kings. The Hornets again trying to stave off the Lakers and the Spurs for the top spot in the West. Francisco Garcia, look at him get a pick. He buries the three with three to go. Kings up by four. Straight ahead on Fast Break, we finish up strong and hand out our coveted Hoop Heroes Awards, symbolic of the best performers of the night. Stay with us. Can you have a beautiful lawn and use less water? Actually, yes. Thanks to Scott's Turf Builder Water Smart Formula. A lawn fed the water smart way grows healthier roots that use water more efficiently. So your lawn needs less, saving you thousands of gallons a year. Smart. Scott's Turf Builder. Feed the lawn. Water smart. My great grandfather homesteaded not too far from here. The people I'm meeting here is they don't make them like that anymore. It's a big frontier and we're ready for the challenge. An American original series, Axemen, Sundays at 10 on History. I remember seeing Jordan win it all. I made up my mind right then that was going to be me. That I was going to be part of that. The NBA race to the playoffs is here and competition is heating up. NBA League Pass lets you see the hottest teams no matter where you live or where they play. The Suns are stronger than ever in the West and the Celtics are soaring in the East. Watch as the NBA's best teams and brightest stars battle for a spot in the playoffs. Get the NBA League Pass Race to the Playoffs package from DirecTV for just $49. To order, call 1-800-GET-SPORTS or visit directtv.com. Don't miss a minute of live NBA action. Get NBA League Pass now. Television's gone through some big changes. The transition from black and white to color. From small screens to giant screens. From cable to satellite. Now, by law, local broadcasters must transition from analog to digital. So how will this affect me? It won't. DirecTV customers have always enjoyed 100% digital picture. So I don't have to do a thing. Feels good to be ahead of the curve. Not getting your local channels from DirecTV? Visit us online for more info. NBA Fast Break. Brought to you by Dunkin' Donuts. America runs on Dunkin'. Over the last two decades, no franchise in the East has been as consistent as Detroit. The Bad Boy Pistons won back-to-back -back titles in 1989 and 90 behind Bill Lambeer, Isaiah Thomas, and Joe Dumont. Then in 2004, Rip Hamilton, Chauncey Billups, and Rasheed Wallace stunned the Lakers in five games. Now the Pistons hope to regain that championship form. Watch the NBA playoff push on ESPN and ABC, home of the NBA Finals. We have an update for you from Sacramento. Again, the Hornets trying to hold off both the Lakers and Spurs for the top Sound spot out west. Ron Artest. Oh, boy. Somebody get a hand. He buries the three. Kings with a five-point lead just under three minutes to go. The true warrior. 
And now it's time for our plays of the week. We got some good ones. We kick it off out in the bay. Watch Monte Ellis behind the back to beat Diddy. He did. He still got hops. Looks like the old man with the beer, but he can still get up. Magic and the Knicks at the Garden. Little Nate has Jameer Nelson dancing, then goes with a tough flip shot over the big fella. Very nice move by Nate Robinson. His game will continue to mature. Out in the Windy City, the King gives Bulls fans a taste of the probably King. what uh, Jordan used to do. Huh? Look at that. With the bad back, too. Finish of the week goes to the Jazz and Mavs. First, oh, there's Kobe Bryant. Sorry, we didn't need to neglect Kobe there, showing he can get some air. My goodness, that was nasty. I got ahead of myself because of this frantic finish. Remember, Darren Williams, the bank shot to tie the game. Mavs don't call timeout. That's they the race up court. Who do you give it to, Jalen? Kyle Corver, you must stay with Dirk and the whiskey in a game-winning situation. And Terrible defense, great shot by Dirk. And those are our plays of the week. And now it's time for our Hoops Heroes, my man, Antoine Jameson. 25 against the Sixers on 9 of 18 shooting. 13 boards as well. Jameson. Way to go. I'm rewarding teamwork tonight. The Utah Jazz. 37 assists with nine turnovers. Team basketball. My man is Najee Muhammad because how often do you get the chance to give Najee Muhammad some love? 16 points, 13 boards, two blocks off the bench. Spoiled it for Indiana. All right, the clock has caught us. For Jalen and Chris, I'm Mark Morgan. Thanks for watching Fast Break. Make sure and tune in to Sports Center at the top of the hour for all the extended highlights of the West Coast games. See you, everybody. Baseball Tonight is presented by Chase. Buzzing in out of the box. We're making it big on baseball tonight. Gavin Floyd almost making headlines for the White Sox against the Tigers. Floyd, a no-hitter for the Pale Hose against Detroit, but lost it on this at bat to Edgar Renneria with a one out in the eighth inning. Gavin Floyd, almost an owner. First time he ever pitched into an eighth inning in a Major League game. Orioles and Rays, here he is. Evan Longoria, a Major League debut. Third base for the Rays, batting sixth in their order, and here is the first Major League hit. And Evan RBI. Longori. And RBI, happy family, happy Evan. Full highlights from his debut coming up in the next 40 minutes on baseball tonight. The Cardinals and the Giants. Now, Longoria's college teammate at Long Beach State, this is John Boker. Wait, so these guys were college teammates and they made their major league debuts on the same day? And he homered. Unbelievable. Went into the water. Brewers and the Mets. Hernan Irabaran. What are you? Very good. Very All right. good. He made his Irabaren. major league debut. Got a base hit. You got to roll the R's, though. Irabaren. Irabaren. I can't see, I can't do I can't that. do that either. Don't Sorry, it's all it. We got picked off anyway. You never know what you're going to have to say out here. It's a baseball tonight. Well, True. <laughs> broadcast with you for the next 40 minutes. Steve Berthium along the way, joined by Arrestes Destrada and Buster Olney. A couple of games just finished or just going on right now. Derek Lowe pitching a beauty for the L.A. Dodgers against the San Diego Padres. And Chris Young was the San Diego starter. Not off to a good start here. Rafael for a call. His first at 21, Buster. Yeah, he's off to a good start, hitting 432 going into that at bat. And that's going to go up. 2-1 Dodgers in the second. Khalil Green is up. Derek Lowe serves it up. Andre Ethier. Here he comes. Great, great uh, outfielder. Just an awesome athlete. One of several they have of the youngsters over there with Kemp and Loney. He had a tremendous game. They're loaded for Blake DeWitt with all his injuries at third for the Dodgers. DeWitt getting lots of playing time and taking advantage. This will score two. It's 4-1 LA. It will score two. We mentioned the big night for Andre Ethier. Had the terrific catch earlier. Here he is up 5-1 in the fourth. He takes Young Yard, his second two-run shot, 7-1 L.A. Two great left-handed swings in this game, one uh, by Ethia, the other one, Gonzalez, you'll see later. There's D. Lowe with the bases loaded, scores two. They've scored nine times. He's on his way to career win number 113, by the way. Scott Hairston, top six, the chopper to third. We mentioned DeWitt over there at third, getting a lot of playing time. And here's the barehander from Blake DeWitt. DeWitt barehand. Not good news for Nomar, by the way. He started his minor league rehab have assignment tonight. Andy LaRoche expected in the next week or two to start his. So, so it's playing for playing time. Going to get awful crowded over there at third. Derek Lowe retired 15 straight at one point. Got Colt Morton there in the seventh. Bottom seven here. Matt Kemp 
There it goes. Oh, the Dodger bats exploding here. Is the other great athlete they have in camp, and obviously Loney, uh, they, they, they got some, some talent for a few years. Now, the thing with the Dodgers, they got four outfielders, three yeah. spots. Everybody figured Juan Pierre is going to have to sit. The guy in that four-man group that's not playing well right now is Andrew Jones. Yeah, there's no doubt about Andrew Jones, but he has to play because they're paying him the most money. So he's, gonna, he's got a couple walks. He's got a couple of walks. He did have another strikeout, but he, he's going to be fine. I think. All Dodgers right now. Rockies and Diamondbacks, Bob Melvin team. You, you talking about offense. These guys are blowing up. Bottom two. Here's Jay up, up the middle. And they're hitting bullets. They're hitting you. You can hear it. When they make contact, these, these balls are jumping off the bat, which again, it's very strange to have that many guys hitting this well at the beginning of the season. This is the time of year when pitchers really are the ones that are benefiting. First Snyder snaps an 0 for 16 skid there as Ryan Spillbores overthrows the cutoff man. Later in the second, Chris Young down the line. That's a ground rule double. It's 3 nothing. And all this in support of Dan Heron, who pitched great. Gave up just one run on five hits in six. Heron struck out seven, and he has that splitter working here with two on against Brad Hopp in the third. Yeah, this is not a good matchup right now. A very anxious group of Colorado hitters oh against Dan Heron. Oh, yeah, not Upton, a good Upton, three for three, four RBIs. He's hitting 415, five homers and 10 RBIs. This is a long way in Chase Field. How old is he? Oh, he he's, he's 20, 20 years, years old. 20, old. 20 years old. And, and, and that was ball was by his ankles, and he torqued it 430 feet. Arizona has won eight in a row. That's a franchise record for April. They have outscored their opponents during that streak 61 to 7. Team. They are 5-0 against the Rockies this season. They've outscored Colorado in those five games, 38-10. Another guy struggling, of uh, the struggle, the all-struggling team, too low. He's going to be fine, though. There's another one that's going to be fine. You stick up for I'm the guys. are filling this whole uh, guy struggling. The first. I like that. The Rockies <laughs> will go for their third straight three-game sweep on Sunday, Buster. This is not exactly a team that was an offensive juggernaut last year. Where's the offense coming so suddenly from? Well, they're certainly improving. Think about this. Last year, they were actually outscored by their opponents by 20 runs, and this year, are greatly improved. Now, I talked to uh, Rick Shu, the Arizona hitting coach tonight, about the improvements that some of the young players have been making. In general, one of the philosophies he's trying to impart upon them is to grind out at bats. Now, specifically, Chris Young, he says he's doing a much better job with his two-strike approach. He's letting the ball get deeper in the zone. Consequently, get more walks. Mark Reynolds, incredible power. What they've tried to do is make him a little less anxious at the plate, make him a little bit more patient. He talked about Justin Upton. He said, look, he just does not take failure. You can't believe he's 20 years old. He makes great adjustments. Stephen Drew is learning how to turn on the inside fastball. Rather than simply carve it out to left field, that's part of the reason why I showed a lot of power last year. And Connor Jackson has been a hitter, has always been patient. He's actually being more aggressive this year. He feels, they feel like he's doing a better job of loading up. Now, as part of this grinded out approach, you see the improvement in the Diamondbacks with their walks. In the first half of last year, 3.2. Second half, up to 3.4. This year, first 11 games up to 4.2. This is slowly developing these young hitters into that Yankees-Red Sox type of lineup where they're trying to grind down starting pitchers, make them throw a lot of pitches, and get them out of the game in the middle of the innings. One other thing that I know is fundamentally they're so sound. They have a very quick bats. They don't have some funky uh, you know, starting to their hitting. Very quick bats, point A to point B. Good stuff, Mike. Continue on all year. Oh, I said the Rockies a minute ago. I meant the Diamondbacks. If they beat the Rockies tomorrow, they will be 6-0 and against Colorado so far this year. That's huge in that division. All right, big pitching day for Mets fans at Shea. There he is, Johan Santana. His Shea debut as a Met against the Brew Crew. It uh, did not go all that well. Bill Hall's season has gone great so far. The solo shot is his fifth of the year, and that ties it at two. Later in the inning, J.J. Hardy. Some nice defense behind Santana here. This time it's coming from David Wright. The diving stop, and then Carlos Delgado with a nice scoop at first, Buster. Yeah, nice play on both ends. By the way, the guy next to David Wright, Jose Reyes, not in the game, has a mild strain of his left hamstring, not expected to play on Sunday. We'll see how he goes. He's wearing a soft brace today. So Reyes and Rollins both out in that NL East top five. Ricky Weeks almost hits this to City Field, his second 3-2. Yeah, yeah, he crushed this, this very well. Ricky Weeks expects a lot of it. And again, the, the solo home run bug has been an issue uh, last year, definitely for Johan Santana. Last season, game. Gabe Kapler was managing in the Red Sox minor league system. This year, he's already got three home runs, 5-2 Brew Crew. That one a big three-run shot. Santana allowed four earned on five hits in six and two-thirds. Ben Sheets, meanwhile, was terrific. Yeah, he's got that great curveball, of course, but he's been working on a changeup, and you see it right there. He threw about 10, 
Start off great, 1.17 ERA. By the way, Eric Gagne, 12 pitch save today. There you go. Retired 18 straight at one point, now 4-1 and one in six career starts at Shea. Uh, Old Dog, the Met Nation, looking for a little better out of Santana today in his first start at Shea. Yeah, there's no doubt they're looking for a little better out of him. Again, you got to be a little patient here with him, but and I don't think he's had that bad of starts. Here, here's the deal with him. I mean, no doubt anybody will tell you in the major leagues, any hitter, I'd say 99% of them, that he's the toughest guy to face and he's a toughest challenge. But conversely, his challenge in the last uh, year has been giving up, especially the solo home runs. It's kind of a little, uh, you know, weird, but there's some reasoning to it. He's given up 24 solo home runs out of 33 last year, which is kind of up for him. It's a little spike the year before 24, the year before that 22. But here's what happens when you're giving up that solo home runs. A couple of things you can think of. Number one, he's tougher with men in scoring position, no doubt about it. But then, conversely, you got to keep your, your team, to, your own team to score more runs, too. Didn't get a whole lot of run support from the Twins. So far, three games, three runs, two runs, three runs. He's going to, you know, those bats are going to get going when Hooray is, is, is healthy and it gets warmer. He's going to have a sensational year as a bat. What you're hearing, hitters are looking for a fastball when they face Santana. Yeah, you got, you got to look fastball. I mean, there's no way, no doubt about it. How could you not? The, devast, the, the change of is devastating. So when you got a two-pitch pitcher, you cut one out as a hitter and say, listen, I can't hit the changeup. I'm going to go after the one that I can possibly hit is the fastball. All right, let's take a look now at an AL West matchup. Everyone said with the Angels injuries, the Mariners would have to run away and hide from that division early in the season. They haven't been able to do it, and the Angels were at safe go tonight. Bottom one, Raul Labanez with a huge night on Friday. It knocks one in here. It's one nothing Seattle as Jose Lopez scores. Labanez all the way in there for three. 2-0 Mariners in the second. Casey Kochman on second. Here's Howie Kendrick. They'll wave Kochman. Here's the throw from Ichiro. He's still got that rocket arm. Yes, he does. Played against him in Japan, and he, and he had that arm from center and right. Look at that. This is in the air. No bounce on this one to a standing Jojima. Right to Kenji Jojima, who says, we'll see him on there. Top four. <laughs> Carlos Silva facing Tory Hunter. They're both former twins. They're buddies. That one got away. That sinker running foul. Actually, the running two-seamer got away from him. says, all right, we're, we're, we're good. Next up, Casey Kochman. This is pretty good, too. His third of the year. We're tied at two. El Silva lets the lead get away. And he's upset about this one. He hung it a little bit. Not that bad a pitch. It was a little change-up sinker. And uh, Kochman went down and got that ball. 3-3 three, three in the fifth. We mentioned three up, three down earlier this week. Richie Sexton has been way down. Maybe this gets him going. His second. Mariners win at 8-3. Hey, they need this guy in the middle of the lineup. Is that simple? The Banyas can't do all the runs of driving in, so you need this guy. Carlos Silva, innings eater, 22 innings and three starts in the classic start for today. One walk, zero strikeouts in eight innings. Yeah, he goes eight here. He had gone seven in each of his previous two starts for Seattle after Great six, job. four year, $48 million contract. If they can get him to solidify that rotation, JJ well, comes the dog gets healthy and puts coming gonna be back. Fun. You never know what we'll have in Seattle. Do up here. It's day two. Red Sox and Yankees. Oh, Manny. It's off the, the mobile side. Back it off the Volvo side and almost hit the mass pike as he hit it wicked far. From D train to DL, we'll explain why the Tigers are even more trouble now. And look at this young gun. It's the debut of Evan Longori. You'll see those full highlights when Baseball Tonight returns. Baseball Tonight is presented by Chase. Make the most of your money. Chase what matters. Visit chase.com slash matters. And in part by Haynes. Look who we've got our Haynes on now. Chase called. Somebody was trying to use our card, but I took care of it. Chase fraud alerts you can act on instantly. Protection matters. Chase what matters. Cuba, try this new Comfort Soft waistband. It's really comfortable. MJ. Michael, thanks for the underwear. Uh, I'm wearing your underwear. The Comfort Soft waistband, only from Hanes. Hyundai brings you this good thinking moment. Welcome everyone to the ESPN Sports Center. 
The world was introduced to ESPN on September 7, 1979, when Instinct told founder Bill Rasmussen that there would be demand for a 24-hour sports network. Today, Rasmussen's vision is seen in over 96 million homes, where people are still being welcomed to ESPN. Welcome to the very latest, freshest sports center. Electronic stability control and a 242 horsepower V6 are standard on the Santa Fe. Plus, right now, you can get $2,000 cash back. Pretty impressive. Pretty impressive? Larry Winget, best-selling author of your broke because you want to be? Take the money you'll save and pay down your credit card debt. Probably should. Did he just say probably? Definitely. Probably. The Hyundai Dollars and Cents sales event. Right now, get a 2008 Santa Fe with $2,000 cash back. Now this season, we'll have Hall of Famers joining us in studio on baseball tonight. We start Sunday with Wade Boggs, 12.30 and 7 Eastern Sunday. Wade Boggs joins us on this set. On just, just playing a charity game with him just the other day, and he can still hit. Oh, like a charity softball? Not a name no, dropper. Charity, charity yeah, uh, MLB, PA. Nice well, I was hanging around with Wade. With the, way, with the, with the Hall of Famer. All right, I've got to promote the network here. A-Rod and the Yankees wrap up their first series at the, the Nation on ESPN Sunday Night Baseball. They face Dice K and the Red Sox Sunday Night Baseball, presented by Taco Bell on ESPN. 8 p.m. Eastern Time. Coverage begins with baseball tonight, driven by Chevy at 7 Eastern. And here we are in the Nation. Josh Beckett on the mound against Mike Yusina for the Yankees. Top one, Ooh. Beckett gets Cabrera and Abreu. Beckett allowed three runs on five hits in six and two-thirds. He struck out five. That's fun in the shadows, isn't it? <laughs> you, can, you can't pick it up. I mean, it's on the... Yeah. Manny in the fourth. Whoa! A little foreshadowing here. Manny Ramirez, since 2004, has basically owned Mike Messina. Hit 394 against him with four homers. Everybody owns Big Poppy these days. Second and third, down 2-1. 073 and he strikes out. Messina made great pitches, pitched inside David Ortiz. Now they come out, runner at second, third, first base open. Manny's at the plate, but. Yeah, it looked like Moose said, you know what, I want to pitch to him, let me work to him. So they say, okay, and it, it doesn't go all that well. Red Sox blow that well. He threw a, he threw a, like a curb, a, a pitch right out over the plate, and he hammered it. First pitch. Now that's terrible. All right, Yankees down 4-3 in the eighth. A-Rod's up, first and second, two outs. So they go to Cinco Ocho. Papelbon comes in, but so does the rain at 623 Eastern. So after nearly an hour, it looks like it's going to clear up. They take the tarp off. Papelbon gets back up, 721, warming up for a second time. But then eight minutes later, it starts raining again. And then at 827, after that system goes through, Papelbon is up here for a third time. Very, very delicate and very dangerous to do sometimes to a pitcher. So you got to be curious. Especially with his history of shoulder issues. They had a two hour and 11 minute rain delay all they get to that a-rod at bat and it worked papelbon said of that pitch i said to myself this is the ball game right here just boston's second win in his last nine against the yankees beckett gets his first win of the season david ortiz's slump continues big poppy hit bad flat. well listen to this he's hitless in his last 15 at bats for the season david ortiz is three for four all right I i've actually seen uh Derek jeter go 0 for 40 i think at one time so don't worry about it all right Dontrell Willis placed on the 15-day DL Saturday. An MRI confirmed Willis hyperextended his right knee, and that Tigers went over the White Sox Friday. Willis says there's no tear, so that's good. Dave Dombrowski says you don't want to take any chances with him. He, he's going to be replaced in the rotation by Armando Galarraga, who couldn't make the Rangers 40-man rotation last winter in spring training. 6-7 ERA, 7 walks, and 6 and 2 thirds innings. That tells you right there where the Tigers are pitching once. Here's the Tigers and the White Sox. Gavin Floyd making his 31st Major League start. And there's Maglio Ordonez to Carlos Quentin backing up Floyd. Joe Creedy backing up Floyd as well off the bat of Miguel Cabrera. And Miggy's not running very well either, so they, they've got little nagging injuries and serious injuries all over the place. Cabrera strikes out here. He actually started at first base for the first time in his career. Gavin Floyd, no hits allowed through seven. We go to the eighth. Jock Jones. One out in the eighth for Gavin Floyd. Next up, Edgar Renteria. The no-no still alive. He's five outs away, net new. Uh, base hit, but you know what? He owns the Tigers. Gavin Floyd against Detroit, 2-0, 1.71 ERA in his career. You just, but you don't, you know, correlate a no-hitter to this year's version of the Tigers uh, at all. Yeah, you, you, Tigers 2-9, and nine, that is the worst record in the major leagues. Haynes' comfort zone since he became a member of the White Sox prior to the 2007 season. Gavin Floyd, 3-5 and five in 18 appearances, 0-5 oh against teams other than the Tigers. But when he pitches against Detroit, that's when he's in the comfort zone. 3-0, 2.43, including today's near no-no. Comfort zone.
is brought to you by Haynes. Look who we've got our Haynes on now. Updating that Dodger Padre game. I'm told this was almost a diving catch by Matt Kemp. Let's find Let's out. Let's see. Off the bat of Scott Hairston. Here's, here's Kemp. Right oh, that's a dive. That's a dive. Okay, sure. His pants almost fell off, wow. but 11 and 1, the Dodgers. What's not a dive about that? That's. Cardinals and Giants. Our producer I, I, said it wasn't a dive. Yeah, John Lavoy, producing baseball tonight, said almost a diving catch. Matt Kane, almost a no-hitter. In fact, Kane, while throwing a no-no, homers for the Giants against the Cardinals, but lost the no-hitter in the seventh. Cardinals down 5-3 in that inning. Here's Rick Ankeel. Two run a shot is fourth. St. Louis down 5-zip has come back to tie it at five. What, what, a, what a just a fantastic hitter he's become. He was always a pretty good hitting pitcher, but now he's really a good hitter. Giants down 7-6 in the ninth. Jason Isringhausen on to close. That one gets by Albert Poole. Also the batter Fred Lewis. Rajay Davis scores to tie it at 7 to go to extras. Top 10, they're loaded. Eric Threets in a jam. Chris Duncan. The gritty, gutty Cardinals. Adam Kennedy comes in. St. Louis has won 9 of its last 11. They win here 8-7 after trailing 5-0 when they were getting no hits. Orioles and Rays, and here he is, Evan Longoria, the much hyped prospect of the Rays. Long number awaited. One, number one pick in 2006 for Tampa Bay. Batting sixth and playing third for the Rays here after his call-up. In the second, Ramon Hernandez at the plate. B.J. Upton almost. Aubrey Huff scores. It's 2-0 Baltimore. Luke Scott up in the fourth. Watch Carlos Pena. He's having a huge year offensively. And how's this for a web gem wow. from the pride of the Northeastern Huskies in Haverhill, man? What, what would you call that? That would be a layout. No, no. What's your other word for Balletic. it? Balletic. Balletic. Bottom six. Oh! Evan Longoria. There it is. First major league hit. And the Longoria clan goes berserk. First RBI, too. He's happy. Bottom eight. Carlos Pena, his sixth. That, he's definitely in my all-tap team. There's no doubt about it. Try another, another pitch, pitch right. please. Let's see if that's got any legs. <laughs> two for the night. Ramon Hernandez. Wow. Hernandez, two for four. In Baltimore. They're, they're a homer. They're better battling. Orioles win it three. Two. An exciting little, little team to keep an eye on. Evan Longoria, one game, one hit. He is in the books. Do up. Cole Hamill's trying to get the Phillies in the books for another win over the Cubs. He's been a Cub killer. We'll see if the Philly Phenom could keep it going at the bank. And seventh, Evan, what a day for number seven in a Braves uniform baseball tonight. Back after this. They say a man should always dress for the job he wants So why am I dressed up like a pirate in this restaurant? It's all because some hacker stole my identity Now I'm in here every evening serving chowder and iced tea Should've gone to FreeCreditReport.com I could've seen this coming at me like an atom bomb They monitor your credit and send you email alerts So you don't end up selling fish to tourists in t-shirts Offer applies with enrollment and triple advantage Hey, Tiger. Yo, uh, Stu. You want to sponsor me in that Bristol Road Race? No. Oh, Colin. Listen, we really appreciate this, but her food for the week is in the bag. Also, her ear medicine. There's uh, That's two drops every two hours. Who are you? Oh, and she doesn't do the litter box. You'll figure that part out. We're going to be listening to the herd all week, we swear. You Americans should have killed me when you had the chance. You better pray. I get to him in time. Jason, you're on your own. <clears throat> More action on Channel 115 now. If anything happens to me or Alton, kill him. Powered by New Degree Men. Absolute protection. Response to increases in adrenaline.
Welcome back to Baseball Tonight, presented by Chase. Coverage of Major League Baseball on ESPN continues Monday night. A rematch of the 07 ALCS. Big Poppy and the Red Sox take on Grand.